There are certain scenarios where a convicted felon can legally have a gun and protect himself by killing someone. So let's talk about it. Hey, hey, what's up everybody? Shout out to all the law-abiding criminals out there. As always, you know what to do. If this is your first time on the channel and you want to hear more prison content and learn what it's like doing time inside prison, go ahead and subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss anything. So guys, I'm gonna get right into this one. Um, first and foremost, before I do get into it, sorry about that, uh, go ahead and check out my links below, man. I got the uh, merch up there, all the different ways that you can support the channel if you like what I'm doing. My book is down there, all kinds of ways, man. There's good stuff, check them all out. And for those that already have, man, the guys that have recently purchased merch and have actually signed up for my Patreon, I really and truly appreciate y'all. You guys are the reason that I can continue to do this. And now I'm gonna get right into it. So here's the thing, man. You guys have probably heard of the Stand Your Ground laws. Most of these states that have some of the strongest Stand Your Ground laws are actually in the South, but we're not gonna get into that right now. My whole entire point is, I'm going to I'm going to throw some links down here in the description of this video and it's going to have a couple of cases where you guys can see um two different individuals that I know of. There's probably a whole lot more, but you do your own research and if anybody knows, you know, according to their state or any other cases, man, feel free to comment it below because I obviously don't have time to find them all, but the ones I'm going to link you are going to show you that there are times when as a convicted felon, you can actually be legal and legit in defending yourself and killing someone now depending on what state you're in there's certain elements i know that there was this one high profile case and the guy had to prove four elements to uh, be able to justify what he did now this one guy who was in georgia he actually got clean away with it because he could prove that there was an imminent threat upon his life. The guy had already tried to attack him before, and it was well known that the dude was saying he was going to kill him. And there's another one where the guy had witnesses. He went inside somewhere, got a gun, and he had witnesses that the other guy had a gun and raised it to him first. And even though as a felon, you're not supposed to have a gun, if you know somebody is coming to kill you, man, and you can legally put your hands on a gun, you're probably going to get away with it scot-free. Now, I understand it's always going to be up to the courts. And, you're pro you know, there is a good chance you could run into an asshole judge who don't want to hear it. And he's, he might find you guilty. I mean, it's always going to be hit or miss. But I know, legally speaking, there are times when you can do it. There's got to be that reasonable threat against your life that you think something's going to happen to you or maybe your wife or your kids or whatever. And the gun can't be stolen, obviously, or anything like that, because there's always that back door where they can hit you and say, well, we won't charge you with murder because you can protect yourself, but we can still hit you being a convicted felon with a firearm. So you always wanna make sure that if there is a thing where you feel like somebody's gonna try to kill you or come against you and your family, make sure that the damn gun is legal and that you can actually have it if you weren't a felon now to build on this i just want to say that's pretty much it as far as you know the gun thing and being a felon and being able to actually still have your right to life you know a imminent threat you know they're going to try to harm you or kill you you can do what you got to do but in a general sense just for every day you guys know that this is something near and dear to me because i started a whole nother channel called uh alternative self-defense sorry i had a brain fart there for a minute but and i actually need to get back on there and start pumping out some more content on it but in a on a broader scale you know in the bigger picture man you guys your hands are going to be your first line of defense for everything as a convicted felon and that is just the bottom line knives are very good but here's the thing if you ain't no good with your hand movements and you can't move and you're not in shape and you can't, you know, like move around and sling your hands and everything, the knife really ain't going to do you that much good unless you got a big ass sword. And a lot of those swords are illegal in some states. I'm lucky that I live in Georgia and there are no limitations on the knives or anything. Now, yes, you can have other stuff like pepper spray guns and high powered air rifles. And I do recommend looking into these high powered PCP pre-charged pneumatic air rifles because... They can be very deadly. They hold air as long as you need them. A lot of them are multiple rounds. Some of them are even fully automatic and they're not regulated by any laws because they're air. So you can use them to defend yourself. And before anybody gets in the comments and starts talking all that shit, listen man, I'm talking about felons that have changed their lives. Felons that have moved on and are completely legit. I am not talking about assholes out here 
who have felonies and are still living a criminal life and just want to find some way to get around law so they can hurt people. So to reiterate, man, by all means, explore any and all avenues of being able to protect yourself in a legal, lawful manner. But please, man, remember the very first line of defense you're always going to have. Okay, I'd say number two, because number one is always going to be your brain, obviously. So physical line of self-defense that you're going to have is always going to be your body. Your body is always with you. You have it no matter what. You can take your body into places that you can't take weapons. So, man, practice. Get good with your body. Keep yourself in shape. Keep your stamina up. Your ability to throw these right here, knees, elbows, whatever it may be, it's, it can save you in ways that weapons cannot. So guys, I know this video is short, but I really did it because I just wanted to spark a conversation here. I know a lot of people view my self-defense videos for felons, and so go check out those cases. Do some research of your own. You can jump in the comments and we can continue the conversation down there because everybody needs to be informed of these things because the cards are already stacked against us. So hope you enjoyed the content. Until next time.